these windmills, when you go out and see them, are really quite amazing. They're enormous, they're quiet. I had one person tell me that they look like the Rockettes, the way that they all are synchronized and, and rotating together. If you get underneath them and you hear the whoosh, whoosh, and you look up and see the scale of them and then see beyond them to the sky, and it's, it's really a rush. There's something about the rolling hills, all the shades of the, the different crops, because the farmers can grow crops right up next to the turbines, that it's like a fabric. I have the same attitude that my ancestors had, is that I don't think my family would still be here after 130 years if, if they hadn't adopted change to be able to stay on the land. Change is blowing across Rick Turner's fields of winter wheat. It's blowing across the sagebrush scrub of Kittitas County. It's a dramatic change in the way we in the Northwest are viewing our future. For more than 100 years, our region has soared on the strength of abundant hydropower. Now, the power of the wind is launching us into a new energy era. If you go out to eastern Washington right now, you will see big utility scale, industrial scale, quiet, efficient, technologically advanced wind turbines that are cranking out kilowatt hours. Wind power is really now available in big commercial quantities, the kind of big bulk utility contracts that um, big urban utilities that serve a, a growing metropolitan region like the Puget Sound need. With a million customers in western Washington, and a half a million more expected in the next decade, Puget Sound Energy knew it needed to find clean, affordable, new sources of energy with staying power. Like it or not, this region is growing. And um, if it's going to grow, it continues to need to have a reliable energy supply. This is a state-of-the-art technology that's competitive with the hydro systems we've had in the past. It's here and ready to serve. My name is Rick Turner. I have lived here my whole life. My family migrated across the Oregon Trail and came into this country to homestead in here in the mid-1880s. Some people showed up alongside the road out here one day. They said that they had gotten our name from someone in town to come out and visit with the Turner family about the wind that blew at Turner. The wind that blows at Turner is now powering Puget Sound Energy's Hopkins Ridge Wind Farm. It generates enough power for about 40,000 homes, and it has brought new vitality to an historic corner of the state. Columbia County and Dayton have struggled for decades to overcome changes in agriculture. So this project has had done tremendous things for the community. We actually were the county that experienced the highest job growth as a percentage from 2005 to 2006 in the state, and it's because of this project. The timing couldn't have been better. Construction at Hopkins Ridge started not long after a big asparagus cannery in Dayton closed for good. My family came to this county in 1869 and they homesteaded. Wheat, which is mostly grown around here, the market for that is, isn't the strongest and you don't make a lot of money. Nobody's getting rich on wheat. And so this extra income from the turbines is just amazing. Wind's blowing pretty good today. Probably about 35 miles an hour. Got a little bit of uh, sleet and snow. The tower here that we're standing inside of, it's a hollow tube tower. It's approximately 220 feet uh, up in the air. Um, the blades, 
on the turbine are approximately 127 feet long. There's three blades, right? Right now, this has uh, about 30 miles an hour. This is really optimal rated power, nice clean wind speed. The turbine likes it very much and everything just kind of hums and sings right along as we like. This turbine is a Vestas uh, V80 turbine, a Mark 2.5. Its uh, rated output is 1.8 megawatts. Vestas is a Danish company, but its North American branch, headquartered in Portland, is booming. We are now close to 200, 220 people here. We have our North American training center. With Puget Sound Energy, uh, we have seen a utility really being a front runner. In, in many ways, uh, the Northwest uh, and the states here are going to set uh, the agenda uh, and a benchmark for, for the rest of the country for, for the coming years. Brian Dowdy is the project manager for both Hopkins Ridge and Puget Sound Energy's second wind farm, Wild Horse, 18 miles east of Ellensburg. He has worked all over the world building power plants and other major energy projects. We're not always looking for the strongest winds. We're looking for steady winds and reliable winds. Building a wind farm is largely about logistics. Uh, simply the scale of this equipment creates problems just in transporting it. It's a worldwide manufacturing operation. So for this particular project, uh, these tower sections came from Vietnam. The nacelles and the blades came from uh, Denmark. Everything was brought into the port of Vancouver, Washington, and then brought up here by truck. Building a wind farm means working in a super size scale, while paying attention to what could get lost in the hugeness of it all. We rescued over 1,000 hedgehog cacti out of the way of construction activities. Um, these hedgehog cacti are on the Washington State Species of Review list. Uh, so we worked with a local biologist and a group of volunteers. Uh, and now this is our little nursery. We will be replanting these on site at Wild Horse. From Wild Horse or Hopkins Ridge, the view is bright. There's a lot of benefits that people don't see. The tax base that it's creating for our community and, and all of us. We have a new library district that was formed because of additional revenue, making the pie bigger. think about the size of this economic opportunity, it dwarfs many of the economic revolutions we've seen in the past. We really do need to cut our fossil fuel dependence very dramatically in the next 40 years for global warming reasons, for national security reasons, for economic reasons. It's very exciting. This is real stuff now, not the tabletop ideas that we saw 30 years ago. We'll be here for the long haul. We will commit these to our customers and they will have a resource which, like hydro, will be around as, as long as we are.